What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. Today we're going to be unboxing the Creality CR-10S Pro V2. Now I am brand new to 3D printing so I'm hoping that the setup is going to be fairly easy. When I was looking around I ended up going with this 3D printer for ease of setup and for someone being new a little more ease of operation so I'll let you guys know how easy it is to set up for someone just getting into 3D printing and how easy it is to get started on prints. Well, hopefully easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, we'll go ahead and cut the tape. Well, right on the top of the box, we got the instructions. We're just going to go ahead and throw those away. We don't need them. Just playing. We're going to use those a lot. <laughs> All right. Wow. It seems to be packaged really well. We got a box. Box right here. We'll have to get into that. See what, what came in there. Comes with some white PLA. Go ahead and show you how well it comes, how well packaged it is, if you guys can see that. Got some big old foam insulation there to help protect the printer. Now let's see if we can pull this out. I don't know how well you guys were able to see that. I was probably blocking the camera, but that was pretty difficult to get out with one person. It was packed in there really snug, which is a, a really good thing to protect that printer. Now we'll go ahead and see how to take off these foams. Go ahead and show you guys the base. There we go, the Creality CR-10S Pro V2. It appears to be about 90% assembled. So we're gonna go ahead and put the rails on, get it all set up, that way we can do our first print. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see what came in this box. Go ahead and open it up here. All right, looks like your power cable. Go ahead and set that aside there. Nice, they give you some tools for the setup process. So they don't leave you hanging on there. Looks like they give you an extra tip, which is nice. And looks like a filler gauge and some stuff to get the bed all level. A USB cable. So I'm guessing so you could transfer the files over to the printer to do your prints. A scraper to get your prints unstuck from the bed. Your filament roll holder. And some type of tubing. And set that aside. All right, let's get this thing assembled. All right, we went ahead and put the rails on the base of the printer. They're not bolted down or anything, but one thing we did have to do is raise the nozzle up on the rails itself because it was too low and it was resting on the bed of the printer. So we raised that up. Now we're gonna find the screws and go ahead and get the screws in. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is going back to our trusty instructions here. Well, there we go, you guys can see it now. We're gonna look for the M5 Allen bolts and bolt the rails to the base of the printer. So now we gotta find the M5s. All right, we found the M5 bolts. Now we're gonna find the Allen wrench and we're gonna get these rails installed. 
All right, we went ahead and found the Allen wrench, which was supplied in the kit. Now, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna very carefully hang this off the edge of my desk. Now that's kind of nice, they're slotted under here so you don't really have to worry about losing the, or being misaligned. Let's go ahead and stick one up here. Wow, you just stick it up there and it lines right up. I'll do the second one. Now I'm not gonna tighten this side all the way down just yet. We're gonna turn it around Get the other bolt started, tighten it down, then come back to this side to tighten it just in case we need any movement. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Now that we got them started, we'll go ahead and get them snug down. Now moving to the back of the printer, we got a couple connections right here. There we go. Connected. Now we're gonna turn this to the side so you guys can see. We got the, I guess you call it a ribbon cable, and right there, and that's gonna get connected right. Whoops! 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 <laughs> Don't drop the cable. Can you get connected right here? It's keyed, so you can only put it in one way. It's got these clips that you spread apart on each side, and go ahead and insert the cable. There we go. Locked it in place. And one more connection under here. That doesn't want to lock for some reason. There we go. There we go. All right, we got it all assembled. We got the power cord in and moved it in its spot. Now, I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but so far it has been really easy to get to this point. You can literally get this thing all together in about 10 minutes. Now as for feeding the filament and getting it set up, that's a completely different story, but we're going to go ahead and power it up for the first time. Oh, that actually sounds good. So hopefully we got everything connected good. It started up, so that's a good thing. The screen is really nice and it's touch screen. But before I go and start pressing any buttons, I gotta look in the instructions to see how we get this thing set up. This is my very first experience with a 3D printer, so I don't wanna go press some buttons and mess anything up. So we'll go ahead and kind of gaze instructions a bit, get the printer all set up and ready for its first print. All right, we got it all set up. We got the filming in. We got the bed level, and honestly, leveling the bed is probably the most stressful part, so I went ahead and leveled the bed manually, and I think we got it pretty spot on. So now we went ahead and inserted the supplied SD card in the side right there, and we're gonna go ahead and go through our first print. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna select print, and honestly, I know what none of that stuff is, but I think the top one, when I research it, it's supposed to resemble a bell, so we're gonna to go to the first file here and go to print. All right, I heard a sound, but I do not know. Okay, I guess it's heating the bed. We're gonna go, go ahead and see if we're gonna be able to do our first print. Just to show you guys, if you level the bed manually, you got these knobs in here. They're on all four corners and you select what corner you're going to level. And it could use a supplied filler gauge to level it. All right, we're doing something. It's 
Just kind of letting it do its thing. Well, I have to say, this is pretty exciting. And we are printing. It looks like it did auto level itself before we started the print. It went ahead and checked all the points on the access of the bed. And now we're laying down the first couple layers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. I hope it turns out all right. But we're gonna come back and check on this when the print's done and see how it comes out. We're approaching the halfway point of this first print. You can see it's pretty tall. I didn't think it was gonna be quite so high. Now I was really nervous that something was gonna happen when it first started, coming unstuck to the bed or something like that, but it looks like it's doing pretty, pretty well. All right, looks like we're done printing. You can see our little piece back there. Now one thing I wanna note, when I first went into the settings to level the printer, I had it a little too close to the back wall. As you can see, it protrudes quite a ways out from the back of the printer. It went all the way back and actually touched this wall and was making some bad noises. So one, one little tip is to make sure you have plenty of room from the back of the printer to the wall so don't get jammed up. Now I went ahead and shut the printer off so you guys could actually hear me talk. But this LCD touchscreen is extremely easy to use and you can navigate really well through the menu itself. This being the first 3D printer that I ever messed with, it was really clear and easy to navigate through the menu. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and unstick our print and see how it came out. We'll go ahead and use our supply tool to get it unstuck. Wow, it was pretty stuck on there. Well, overall, let's see if we, we can focus in. Overall, it came out really nice. You can see the detail. And I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. It looks like some type of little shed or something. You see the little back, how it left it open back there. And the little details in the print in the back. Whoa, getting a little blurry there. And we're holding it too close. There we go. You kind of see it a little better. Now I have to say not bad for our first print. I'm actually going to go ahead and go through the settings and print out the other two on the SD card just to make kind of get the hang of it and get more comfortable with it I guess. All right now for my thoughts. This printer right out of the box was extremely fast and easy to put together. You could literally have it assembled in, within 10 minutes with, without a problem. I've never messed with a 3D printer before and put this printer together extremely fast. The hardest part for me was the leveling or which at least what took the most time. I think I was making a bigger issue of it than what it, what it actually was, but I wanted to make sure everything was perfect for our first print. The LCD screen is extremely easy to navigate through. I knew exactly where I was all the time and I always knew how to get back to the home screen. And me not being a person that's not so tech savvy, I guess you could say with the, with the electronics, to always know where I was in the menu, just goes to show how user friendly this, this printer actually is. The print came out extremely nice, especially being our, our first print. I had no, no idea what I was doing in the settings. I just pretty much set it up, let it heat up, and, and, and print off the supplied SD, SD card. Now, if you guys are curious about this printer or want to know more about the specs, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. And as always, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.